Why, hello there. Jacob. And today, I have an unboxing for you. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So, yeah. This particular bad boy comes to us from eBay. And, uh, well, ironically enough, this particular seller, I had recently just bought in a jersey from, like, two weeks ago. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The same seller that sold me this bad boy for 75 bucks before shipping and all that stuff came out to about 90 91 bucks it's a bad thing about ebay and stuff like that just kind of a heads up especially if you live in a state that has taxes and stuff like that on their clothing but like i say for about 90 bucks i got this minnesota wild team issued edge 2.0 and uh whew, Ironically enough, too, this story continues because this particular jersey right here was actually, again, shout out to Windy City Hockey. This jersey right here was the one that alerted me to this seller's page. So, you know, I bookmarked both of these jerseys and stuff like that. And, uh, well, <laughs> let's just go ahead and say... I was not actually expecting to buy this thing, but the deal I got was just so stupidly good. And I'll explain more once we actually get into it here. But <laughs> without further ado, let's get into it. So yeah, like I say, this is coming from the same seller that I just bought my uh, red jersey from. And uh, whew, I am very, very excited for this. Especially because this jersey... Also has a little bit of sentimental value, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Here it is. Oh, it already looks good. So, if you can kind of uh, guess here what it is. <laughs> that is right, ladies and gentlemen. It is another NHL jersey from the Central Division. And, uh, and again, it's of my favorite team. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. This is a Minnesota Wild Road White Reebok Team Issued Goalie Cut Jersey. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. A Minnesota Wild Road Edge 2.0 goalie. And this particular bad boy is a size 58. And, uh, ooh. I mean, this thing is absolutely beautiful. I love the fabric. I love the design and stuff like that. Plus, it even has the MIC tag. Which, for those of you who remember, during the Edge era and especially into the Adidas era, this is how you can distinguish, like, an actual made in Canada and stuff like that, like a team issued slash team worn and stuff like that, is it would have this tag on it. And uh, this particular bad boy was commissioned for, looks like, either November 4th or April 11th of 2016. So this was one of their uh, last year of Reebok jerseys. But, uh, whew. And like I say, the reason why this is kind of sentimental to me, in a way, is because this right here, back around 2015, from Full Moon Jerseys, was my first ever Minnesota Wild jersey. And from that day is sort of when I started following the Wild and started following hockey and stuff like that. And ever since then, I've met a lot of great people. I mean, heck, some of my greatest friends online i'd argue you know trev elijah windy city hockey twisted wrister and so on and so forth i mean it's been fun and stuff like that and again shout out to windy city because this was the jersey he originally sent me so i saved it in my watch list and stuff like that but uh, yeah let's go over some of the details so yeah like i say this is a road white edge 2.0 goalie cut so as you can kind of see the tagging and stuff like that adidas 
I kind of like how Adidas did it because they just put it in the like actual collar and stuff, the 58G and stuff like that. Versus Reebok in which they do the double tagging because my Anaheim Ducks, which I just recently found out by the way is a 2.0 goalie cut, you know, they did this style of goalie jersey. So yeah, as you can see here, goalie cut, size 58, no Reebok in the collar. And this was the jersey where the Wild actually started doing, I think they call it like necklines and like neck collars and stuff like that with the uh, sublimated Minnesota. The Minnesota Wild shoulder patch, which is a nice, flexible, thick material. The uh, stretchy, elastic MIC fabric, which I think is like a heavy-duty polyester or something along those lines. The tagging. And the back of the jersey, which is a blank. Going down to the reinforced fight strip. And then, of course, like I say, there's tagging in here, too. Where it looks like, I don't know like if this is actually when they were made or whatnot, but as you can see here, this has a sticker, kind of hard to read, that says, looks like 10-3 of 16, or again, 3-10 of 16, I'm not 100% sure if they use the American style of time for month and year, or if they use like the international, which is month, day, year, versus day, month, year, and like the other countries and stuff like that, but still, regardless, this was towards the tail end of the Edge 2.0 era. But, uh, whoo, I mean, this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. And of course, I'm going to forget to show this bad boy. In my opinion, one of the best logos in sports because it literally sums up Minnesota to a T. But yeah. That'll basically conclude this video, but like I say, the reason why I say I was super excited and I wasn't anticipating on buying it is because, well, I wasn't <laughs> anticipating buying this. I mean, and then literally out of the blue, I'd say literally just this past week, like Friday or Saturday or something like that, he shot me an offer. So this was originally 150 but I didn't get it for 150 I didn't get it for 100 I didn't even get this for 75 He offered me 50 bucks for this bet. 50 American dollars pre-shipping and all that stuff. It came out to roughly about 70 shipped when it was all said and done, but <laughs> $50. So again, you know, I went over the finances and stuff like that and was able to jump on this. So now, not only do I have one team issue wild jersey, but I have two from the same seller. And I got both of these for roughly 20 bucks less than these were both individually shown on eBay. Because if I remember, this was also going for 150 and this was going for 150 and I think after all was said and done, I paid roughly about one, yeah, about 150, 160 for both of these. And, uh, whew. Again, like I say, shout outs to Windy City, shout outs to all the wild fans, shout outs to Trevor, shout outs to the Jersey community. And, yeah, this thing is absolutely cool. But yeah, I think that'll basically wrap up this video. So until we meet again, this is Jacob. Have a good night.